My name is Ken. I'm the curator of marine mammals at the Oregon Coast Aquarium, and I'm responsible for the health and welfare of uh, the marine mammals in the collection at the aquarium and for the staff. We were moving uh, sea otter, our newest sea otter, uh, who doesn't have a name yet, his number is 564, um, from his holding pool where we've had him in quarantine and training for the past couple of months. And we moved him to the uh, regular exhibit that's behind me here. Um, well, when he got here, he was a wild otter. He was feral. Um, he had no training. He had no interactions with people, uh, things like that. So the first thing we had to do was to get him uh, used to seeing people um, and being fed by people. When he got here, we actually had to toss his food about halfway across the pool for him to eat it. He wouldn't come near us at all. Um, over time, he, we got him closer and closer to where, uh, in the end, he was actually hand feeding from us. Well, immediately, uh, Mojo was at the gate and Mojo was watching him. It took him a while to notice Mojo through the gate. Uh, he was more interested in the pool itself, his new, his new area, the smells in there from the other otters. Uh, once they did notice each other, he went up to the gate. Mojo was putting his paw through. They were smelling each other. Uh, they were touching each other's paws, checking each other out. Uh, Ialic now knows he's back here. Uh, he's not really paying attention to Ialic. Uh, he's paying more attention to Mojo. But Ialic is definitely a little bit jealous. Uh, Mojo and Ialic hang out together most of the day. And he doesn't seem to like Mojo paying all this attention to him. Uh, he's come a, a long way. Uh, we, we actually see his personality now, uh, the type of animal he is, and he's, he's going to fit in very well with our collection.